I've created a quick project which contains, I haven't got quite any active translation memories in it. I just wanted to show you how to set up the IRT terminology provider. So it contains some documents that I downloaded off the internet relating to the European Commission. So we should have some fairly, um, some segments that contain information we're likely to be able to find results for. So to add the IRT terminology provider after you've installed a plugin, you can either click on File, Options, and then navigate down through language pairs or language pairs to term bases. And from there you can click on Use and add your IRT terminology provider. If you want to do it just for your existing project, you can either go through Project Settings and then do the same thing, navigate down to your term bases and you can add it through there. Or you can just do it the easy way and click on the Project Term Base Settings button in your Term Recognition window. And when you click on there, it takes you right to, this, to the correct location. So I'm going to add the IRT Terminology Provider. The first thing it offers you the domains. This gives you an opportunity to narrow down the information because if you're familiar with IRT, you'll know that 8 million terms is going to, 8 million entries rather, is going to return a lot of information every single time you search for something. And certainly if you've tried downloading the data, the data previously, um, which, which we have done, the, the TBXs tend to take quite a bit of cleanup to remove all the duplication. We can't remove the duplication out of here because we're looking up the term base directly. But what we can do is give you the ability to be able to filter on it. You can also cut down the information that's shown in the term base preview. But the best thing to do, I would say, is take them all for the time being and then decide later whether it's useful to be able to cut it down in some way or not. And more importantly, if you think there's something else we should try to display. Anyway, if you don't select anything, you just click on Save Settings. It's going to add the terminology provider to here. Um, and then it's ready to go. And this time, because I didn't select any anything in the settings, it will be picking up everything. So I click on OK. Um, this now, if I go into another segment just to kick it off, it should start looking for terms and should allow me to get some results. As you can see, there, here we go, for my term recognition. And everything highlighted is what it's, highlighted is what it's actually found. You can see there's quite a bit of duplication there. The target looks a bit different in places, but the source is the same. And this is really because of the context in which it's been used, I, I'm guessing. Um, so if you were to narrow down the number of domains that were returning results, you'd probably get less results. Uh, but you should be able to now be able to get auto-suggest, which you can. If I start typing, you can see I get auto-suggest results that are coming from the term recognition window. And if you click on the term base viewer, I find it best to dock it really and then move it over so then it's not flying in and out all the time. What this does is this will show you more detail around everything that has been found within this segment. So it's looking up everything that's associated with this. So where you have things that have not been specifically found, such as um, database state, for example, which is in here and it's not in this segment, it's because it's related somehow to the information that's been found in here and we display everything. So you get quite rich information based on each segment when you go into it. And that will change from segment to segment. We can't display the whole term base in here because it's just simply too big. You can see even like this, it takes a while to return results. You can impact the way results are returned. If you click on the project term base settings and go to the search settings, I'm currently set at 200. If you increase that to 300, you'll get more results, but it takes a little bit longer to find results. And the speed at which it does that will depend very much on your internet access, I guess, and the ability of the IRT server to return a, a, a result when it's processing a lot of terms. Um, I'll leave that on, to, on 200 for the time being while I just show you a couple of other features. What you can also do is you can pick a particular thing. So if I wanted to go back to um, the commission itself, I can right click and say view term details exactly the same as you would for multi-term and then it's going to go through and give you the term which it would that one that one is and actually this gives you some idea when I do that you can see that the um, information in the term based viewer is changing even though it's the same word each time and that's sorry that was nothing to do with studio <laughs> um, when I click on the view term details it's showing me another definition in fact you can see them all down there look and so it gives you a better idea where it's where it's all come from. And you can see the domains in there. So domain transport, that one's coming from. 
This one's coming from Domain European Union. So you get some idea of the volume of information that's in there. But I guess you're probably already familiar with that. Um, and certainly this is the best way we could find to do this so that we didn't completely overwhelm the application with far too much data and prevent it from being workable. So this seems to be a better solution. If you wanted to search for something that wasn't found, like that for example, which might be found um, if you were to increase the search depth, you can right click on it um, and you can search IRT directly. And when you do that, it'll go up to the IRT website and search for that. And you can see it's actually in there, but I didn't find it because of the search depth settings I had. If I was to go much deeper, then probably I would have found it. And so here you can see there is no term specifically for allocated, but it is part of a, a phrase, which I guess it probably why it hasn't been found because it's more fuzzy. But that will give you some idea of how to use it. I think I probably covered everything you need to know. Um, and I'm looking forward to seeing your feedback on it in the in the beta.